Hello, I have a uh, an encrypted drive that I installed on my in my Ubuntu Linux 1804 workstation. Uh, the hard drive that I installed is from another Ubuntu computer that crashed on me, but I wanted to keep the data that was on the encrypted volume, which is the encrypted hard drive. So if I type, uh, let me just show what I have here. So I'm going to do sudo um, ls block. Okay. So right now, this is my SDA drive, which is my boot drive, and it's got all my my normal boot stuff on it, but it's encrypted. So that's the SDA3 here that's encrypted. Um, so this SDB drive is the new one that I just installed. Actually, it's an old drive from another computer that I installed, but it doesn't show that it's encrypted only because it's it doesn't see it. Um, to see that, you can use uh, block ID instead of ls block ID or ls block. You can use block ID. So sudo plk ID and grep for crypto, and it shows me my SDA3, which is right here, and then also shows me the SDB drive that I just installed, and that's this UUID is what I'm going to need here. So. This UUID I'm just going to copy because I know I'm going to need it later. So basically this drive is encrypted and then there's a volume group. The default Ubuntu volume group right here is what uh, it's named. And then there's some uh, logical volumes on the volume group called root and swap one. So that's the volume group. This is the logical volume. And the same thing you'll see once I get this mounted, this SDB mounted. You'll see something similar to that. So, uh, in order to mount the encrypted volume SDB, I need to see how to mount it. So, I just did the block ID, and it shows me des or, uh, pseudo block ID, and I grabbed it for crypto, and it shows me dev SDB, and then this, and then this UUID. So that's all I'm going to mount here. It's just the sudo dev sdb. Oh wait, sorry about that. I need crypt setup to uh, mount it. So crypt setup and lux open. Oops, open and dev sdb. And that's where right here is where I paste in the uuid. So I'm just going to copy it again to make sure I have it copy and to paste it I can just hit shift insert and as soon as I hit enter it's going to ask me for my encryption password passphrase and I'm going to type that in and it doesn't show on the screen but as soon as you hit enter if all is well it'll just return your command prompt to you so now when I type uh, the either block ID or ls block, let me scroll up, hit the up arrow here, ls block id, and you'll see the difference between how it shows the stb uh, before and now. So the stb now shows the encrypted volume and the two logical, or the two volume groups on that encrypted volume. So I named the volume group 1vg and then there's a logical volume called data1 on each one. There's two logical volumes on there within the same volume group. And to mount those logical volumes on the 1VG volume group, which is on the encrypted drive of this UUID, I just um, mount it like normal. So it would just be a normal mount command of just a sudo mount and dev, and then you just use the, um, this would be 1VG the name of the volume group and then the logical volume. And let me erase this first and let me show you where I'm going to mount this. You need a mount point. So I created a mount point inside the MNT directory. And it's called data1 and data2, which match the data1 and data2 here. So sudo mount, oops, there we go, mount dev1 underscore volume, 1vg for volume group. Then the logical volume, data1, and I want to mount it to MNT data1. 
as soon as I hit enter, it should mount it. Um, I'll do the same thing. I'll just hit the up arrow to save myself some typing. So, data 2, data 2. So now if I go back to LL, or into the mount directory, um, cd mnt, and I just ls data 1. Shows me everything in there, ls data 2. And that's all the information that's in my encrypted drive. Thank you for watching.